a great response from a woman the other day who was in the car with other companions who the rest of us couldn't see. And she said, she goes, I'm lonely. They keep me company. It's cheaper than a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so true. It's like there's really something about the companionship. The other is I've often thought to myself, if I could study anything, I would love to study the brain. Like, what is it that happens um, within the mind? And I can only get a few clues, like when I, you know, we all have voices in our heads. And I ask myself, what would it be like if I pass a couple nights and it's just like these fighting voices inside of my mind around something? And I think, what would it be? to never have rest from that. Um, so I have great compassion for people because I see the exhaustion in their face. And again, this young woman we were with the other day, and she was so frustrated and became um, angry that the voices would not allow her to be present with Kay and I for a meal. And she said, they're ruining my time here because I can't, I can't be here. And um, so it's, it's that sense of they don't have a control over the, their mind any more than, you know, if I have a sleepless night and I have maybe some tools um, available to me to help, like quiet or whatever, but if a person has to live with that 24 hours a day, um, it's a great, great burden.